Well, this is the second take because the first time Grandma stopped by and I started visiting. So, you know, I had to visit with the Grandma. And I cut out coupons. And I looked at the sales ad. Dad and I are going to buy a corned beef for two twenty nine a pound. And then they have two for five. We can get um, a two-pound bag of carrots and a five-pound bag of red potatoes for $5. And then we got a cabbage, so we don't need one. Hi, kitty. Grandma brought a box of donut holes, different kinds in there. Yeah. And here. today's a birthday. Whose birthday's today? Justin's here. Say happy birthday. And he's out here just like, see. Ooh, he emptied my garbage. Happy birthday, Justin, to you. You old man, you. Yeah. You're getting old like the, like the hopper. Yeah. I was showing him that we're going to buy corned beef. Corned beef. You should be here. Corned beef, cabbage, carrots. Yep. And um, I'm cooking. We'll have that next Wednesday on St. Patrick's Day. Saint pa That's the day I got to go to the doctor, isn't it? Yeah. You go at 2, what? 2.15? 2, 2.15, yeah. Is it 2.15? Yeah. You don't really know, do you? 2.15, okay. it is. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep. Okay, you can go now. I want to finish my video by myself. Okay. I'm just missing uh, you. Mm. Puss, puss. The cat say hi? Yeah, she always says hi. Will you shut my door, please? <laughs> um, so happy birthday, Justin. He got his card today. I sent him a card and it came on his birthday. I was so excited. I actually bought that birthday card literally like four or five months ago. I've had it for a while. Um... I watched the Oscars last night. I stayed up for the whole thing. I didn't know if I would be able to, but I did. And um, it was all right. It's a good show. I guessed a lot of the winners. I was wrong on a few. Well, I wasn't really wrong. It's just some of the people who I would have wanted to win didn't win. But um, I was glad that James Cameron did not win for Best Director and Best Movie. For some reason, I just did not want him to win. Is that mean? Okay. Um, I got my little sidekick. Actually, when I came in here earlier, she was already up here sitting here waiting for me to come into the bedroom. When I got home from work, Dad and I had some dinner. We did the whole baked potatoes, and I steamed some vegetables for mine, and he had some spinach with his and some stewed tomatoes. So we pretty much had like a vegetarian dinner. And um, she was sitting here waiting, like, where are you? And then we started to make our video and grandma came in. There's a knock on my door. I'm like, who's here? Where are you going? Huh? Puss, puss, kitty. I swear the goobers in her eyes every day. I pluck them out and she doesn't like it. And every day she's got black goobers in her eyes. Um. Also today, there was a murder down the road. Actually, it happened yesterday. I got up, and I was getting ready for work, and on the radio, uh, they were doing the news, and I was half listening, and then I heard my road, the road I live on. And I'm like, what happened on my road? Something happened. And apparently, a 14-year-old boy who was staying with his grandparents, uh, 3 o'clock in the morning, shot and killed his grandfather. Somebody my dad's known for years, because they didn't put the names in the paper today, and we found out who it was by the address, and um, when I got home, I opened the door, I'm like, Dad, the house on the hill. He goes, Jesse's house? I'm like, yeah, that's the guy that got killed. He goes, what? I'm like, yeah, Jesse, my house got killed. So, they're going to try him as an adult. There, uh, There's no real... Nobody really knows why yet. Nobody, nothing. They say he's a good student. Um, he liked going to visit his grandparents. He considered his home away from home. You know, and then on the on the news, they're like, yeah, the gun was registered to his grandfather's and his grandpa. And um, it could have been an accident. It's three o'clock in the morning. And... The grandfather gets shot in bed. That does not sound like an accident. 
I don't know what the hell she's doing back there. What are you doing? Yeah, there you go. She's going to take it easy. Um, work went pretty good today. We're still having a few computer glitches going on. The whole networking thing. I mean, it's working, and our it, it's eh, we had a glitch this morning, but we straightened it out at a fairly reasonable pace. Um, then after the um, Oscars, I'm like, I'll probably pass right out, right? No, I couldn't sleep, so I read for a while. I don't know what time it was I finally went to bed, but I know when my alarm clock went off at 8 o'clock this morning, I was not ready to get up. I was like, I want to sleep. I knew there was something else I wanted to tell you guys, but I can't think of what it is. I don't know. Um, so I guess that's about all. Happy birthday to Justin. Murder. Hmm. Oscars. I think I covered everything. Kitty. She's becoming a a good sidekick. She likes to, and she used to never lay up on my desk. Now it's just all of a sudden obsessed. Cats do that though. She'll get obsessed with a spot for a while. And then probably in two months you won't see her at all. Because she'll be over it. But okay. So I'm going to roll now. I'm going to um, do some work. I think dance on the phone. See who he's talking to. So you're down there in the sunshine. We were. It wasn't too sunshiny, but it was a lot better than it was here. You come back at a good time. It's been nice here. Oh, it. I have no idea who he's talking to. The voice does not sound familiar. Now, if it had been Larry he was talking to, y'all would have got entertained because you just can't imagine those two on the phone together. Okay. I'm really going now. Bye.